Is Clayton with you? No. No. No, they ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in, Jody. We'll talk. I'm sure... Oh, it's over, Nathan. Through being their toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell I... them, Nathan. I'll kill them. Well, that was an exceedingly long one, which means that this one's only going to, this uh, video is only going to be about a mission or a chapter long, because I've got places to be, and I didn't expect that to be as long as it fucking was. So we're going to play Old Friends, and that will be it. So... My little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's that? I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> on the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I'd look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement. 
enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? All right, since that was literally like three minutes long, I will give you guys one more chapter. Just one. I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. <sighs> Fine. St. John's Hospital. Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. Come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Um, can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. All right, buddy. Nap, nap. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first.
There must be something. What the fuck am I looking for? Oh, here we go. I can see you, Aiden. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, he's too far away. Come on. Well, I mean, it's a pretty, I guess, floor. Uh, Jesus. What? That crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Yeah, working on it. So this must be 43. Cole! Found it! I'll wait here. Jody. She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in.
mother and the father, both gifted. Do you realize how important this baby is? You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best, you know that. That's my baby! Bring your back! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Jody, I missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody. What the fuck is that? The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. 
You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Why all the lies, Nathan? Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment. A home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? <sighs> what was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. And with that, I'm going to call it, so I'll see you guys next time. Um, that was Nora... Uh, it was also going to be the outsider, I don't remember, and part of briefing. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.